Gary, great to have you back on the screens of Borough TV this week after last week's absence. Uh, first of all, did you want to perhaps provide an update to our members on your current health? Yes, I certainly can do that, Sam. Obviously, by the win over Box Hill, I wasn't missed that much anyway, because the, <laughs> the boys do pretty well. But I just want to say thanks to all our wonderful supporters for all the well wishes, and I certainly feel a heck of a lot better. And it was great to be back in the driver's seat on Saturday. Had full confidence in Trent and the boys to get the job done over Box Hill. So I certainly feel a heck of a lot better this time uh, today than what I did 12, uh, what seven days ago, mate. So yeah, no, onwards and upwards, as they say, from here on in. Uh, and great to have you back at the helm officially of the boys on Saturday at Werribee as we prevailed by 55 points over North Melbourne, which you must have been really pleased on the whole. Yeah, I was. Look, that could have been a real danger game. I think North have played somewhat better than potentially their uh, win-loss ratio goes, and they probably had their best side on paper considering some of the personnel that came back. So for me, reviewing the game, I thought three out of the four quarters, our, our ball movement, how we played offensively, the separation and isolation we got inside our forward 50. Guys like Geordie Lyle and Khan and uh, DC taking some marks and putting scoreboard pressure on. It was Geordie's best return of five goals one. And uh, cont Khan continues to be a really good foil up there. And I think we certainly know we missed DC in the first two weeks anyway. But Junior O'Sullivan's pressure, Blake Pearson's, Ash Crack has been in some pretty fair form and I thought overall our defensive mechanisms in the third quarter were actually quite sound too, to be honest. We just couldn't take our chances and score, but as you do, and if you want to be a good side, which I know we've got the makings of, to then score seven goals in the last quarter to their one was uh, pretty good stuff. And great to have the co-skipper Jordan Lyle back in form with his five goals. He seemed to be moving well, marking well and kicking well. And when he's up and firing, he's obviously a very important cog along with Dylan Conway up front who's also returned in really good nick. Most definitely, and Geordie's actually dropped some weight since last year, so his ability to move around the ground I think has been the best I've seen for probably well over 12 months. And I think he's about maybe four or five kilos lighter, so when he does move like he is at the minute, he attracts the ball, and of course when he finishes off as well as he did on Saturday, it's an enormous asset to have. And uh, as I mentioned before, Dill Conway, we certainly are a better functioning forward line, and Dill's dropped a little bit of weight too, and I think some of his second effort were really good and a couple of tackles he made the opposition really pay as in being able to turn the ball over and then I think we're able to score on a couple of occasions so it was pretty impressive all round. Uh, and in round one we had Benny Jolly uh, come, up, come up against his old club and this Sunday it'll be Tom Goodwin as we take on uh, Coburg. I'm assuming he'll be front and centre in plenty of uh, midweek planning at training this week. Yeah, it's always an advantage I think when you've got someone who's played at another VFL club and whether it means a lot at the end of the day because we know coaches move and, and go from time to time so we'll no doubt pick Tommy's brains, no doubt they'll probably want to just uh, razz him a little bit and uh, get him a little bit excited about what he's got to do but he's just got to be professional about it and Ben showed enormous professionalism against Willie a few weeks ago so we would like Tom to replicate that and of course the best thing he can do is try and play as well as he can and I thought he actually turned a bit of a form corner on Saturday against a really good VFL player in Tommy Campbell so if Tom can actually have that as his base form line it all goes well for the next few weeks so but we'll look forward to it again we're obviously away and uh, Coburg have been one of the more improved sides I would have thought this year they were very close to beating Collingwood round one they obviously overcame Frankston and uh, even on the weekend they were pretty competitive for about halfway through that third quarter so never underestimate the opposition respect them for what they are but we need to continue to keep working hard on where we see an improvement area or areas and uh, the boys are pretty keen to do that. Well, Gary, as I said off the top, great to have you back on deck. Uh, well done on the weekend, and he's hoping we can go three on the bounce against Coburg on Sunday. Good luck. Yeah, thanks, Sammy. Borough Classifieds is back. <laughs>